I think it's uh, very important to keep developing our knowledge and expertise in science um, in order for us to keep making progress in life. There are always modern challenges, take the modern world. You know, there, there's Ebola outbreaks, you know, we need new drugs to be able to deal with that. There's new coatings to make, uh, make transport more energy efficient. I think without science, we're never going to make any more progress. As an undergraduate, that is where I got very heavily involved with the Royal Society of Chemistry and they helped, helped me with resources such as the library, you know, helping me with my dissertation, to helping me network with other people as I've moved on in my career. My journey through the RSC, it really, it gave me a lot of confidence and I made a lot of contacts. Right now I'm chair of the regional steering group for the North East and I'm chair of the local section. I did a recent talk uh, for the Royal Society of Chemistry at a Mixer event where I basically talked about my career and what I did for a living, talking about paint and uh, watching paint dry and how it's actually a lot more than it sounds like. I've had so many opportunities uh, such as the twinning programme that we set up at Newcastle with West India. I went to uh, the General Assembly one year and they were saying how they wanted to encourage interaction between international uh, local sections and regional local sections in the UK. We were able to send three postgraduate students over to India uh, as part of an exchange program so that they could learn under uh, some of the professors out there in the institutions. I'm really pleased to say now that there are three other local sections from the UK setting up international collaborations. One of the things that I love is bumping into colleagues that I work with um, but not, might not see on a daily basis or might be based at different sites around uh, the UK or even the globe. I get to meet them um, at RSC events. As a student and as a professional, I have had to use the RSC library and that has been beneficial to me over the years. Quite a lot of the time when you're left to research something, you have to look for something yourself, you have to pile through a lot of things and you may not know where even to start. I can. I can quite happily put a few words together to describe what I'm aiming for and I can get in touch with the library and they literally, they can set together a search criteria, criteria for me and really narrow down from hundreds of thousands of articles down to a few hundred for me to look through. It's a service that I really value. So I have used the RSC career service in the past. They actually helped me set up my CV, which has helped me get my current job. <laughs> so uh, the CV clinic is invaluable. Even the careers consultations, I have been to one of them. They gave me some valuable advice at the time, which has helped me to decide which way I wanted my career to go, whether it was academia, whether it was industry. More than anything gave me that sense of confidence to follow the path that I wanted to go. The RSC and AXO Nobel work together uh, to recognise excellence. That is what I'm talking about, the partnership between industry and the RSC.